One of the world's greatest mountain ranges, the Coast Mountains of Western British Columbia span an area of approximately 300,000 square kilometers. For many years, the mysterious peaks north of Vancouver beckoned to ambitious adventurers. One mountain dominated. Its summit was thought to be well over 3,000 meters above sea level. The mountain was known by First Nations as Tsikai, meaning dirty snow. Newer arrivals called it Mount Garibaldi, a name given by a British sea captain in 1860 after an admired Italian patriot, Giuseppe Garibaldi. Several unrecorded attempts to climb Mount Garibaldi in the early 1900s produced little result, barely cresting the tree line. The first recorded attempt came in July 1905, when T. Price, D. Gray, A. King and A. Dalton failed to reach the summit due to dangerous snow conditions. Two years later, King and Dalton returned to the mountain with four others. The group of six mountaineers included Atwell King, A.T. Dalton, his son W.T. Dalton, G.B. Warren, T. Patterson, and J.J. Trory. In late July 1907, the climbers departed Vancouver aboard the steamer Britannia, en route for the tiny settlement of Newport, known today as Squamish. From Squamish, a spring wagon carried men and gear for nearly 20 kilometers along the Brackendale Pemberton Meadows Wagon Road to its junction with the Chikai River. The men continued towards their objective on foot up the Chikai River drainage and then into inevitable bush and steep wooded slopes. Within two days, a high camp was made on Crescent Ridge, known today as Brome Ridge. The days that followed brought showers of rain and wet snow. Two aborted attempts on the summit were made. Morale was on the decline, and there was talk of giving up. Spurred onward by an adamant will to succeed, Atwell King and A.T. Dalton insisted on an all-out final effort. In a kind of trance, we at last crawled up a ridge of soft, clean snow and found ourselves standing on a flat, bare rock with only the four winds about us and the heavens above us. One of our young guides planted a Union Jack and we realized that a virgin peak was conquered. King, Dalton and Son, Warren, Patterson and Trory succeeded in climbing Mount Garibaldi. J.J. Trory's ice axe remains as the sole physical reminder of that harrowing day on the mountain in 1907. In 2007, 100 years after the first ascent of Mount Garibaldi, a group of British Columbia Mountaineering Club members returned J.J. Trory's ice axe to the summit. Dressed in period clothing for the event, the climbers celebrated a century of British Columbia Mountaineering Club heritage. In the end, there are as many reasons why people climb as there are climbers. The stewardship of the Coast Mountains is our collective responsibility. We owe the mountains our gratitude. Beyond the jagged horizon, unknown adventures and rewards await those who share 
a passion for the mountains. Thank you.